Hello, Springer here, and it's New Year's Eve. Now, the floor in my house, or half of my house, um, it's going to be replaced, but we have four lots of joists, what was there, 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 and possibly there, all the joists need replacing, rotten, and the whole floor, I'm going to do the whole floor because this side has had some issues in the past, but the whole thing's a bit iggledy piggledy, so this is going down. So anyway, I've addressed damp issues in that corner. We're okay, there's no more damp. Um, we had all the damp proof course done all the way around the house. Um, and we had all of these joists pressure treated, not pressure treated, spray treated about 10 years ago when we bought the house. Unfortunately, because it wasn't damp proof before we moved in, um, the rot, the water was already in everything. So when it got spray treated, it just sealed the water in to all of the joists, which have just rotten over the last 10 years. So it's all coming out. It's all going to be replaced and new flooring down. Uh, we're going to have pressure treated um, joists. I've got the moisture resistant boards. They're not waterproof. Um, so everything's fine, except this corner. There's still a damp issue in this corner. Um, I've fixed the other issues. I've stopped any damp. Um, but this is rising damp, basically. Miss Jones. Um, there's a concrete subfloor. Well, no, it's, it's a screed subfloor. And the water, groundwater's coming up. Coming up through these uh, joist supports and soaking into the joists. Um, even though there's damp proof membrane um, what's happened is whoever repaired this before put the joists touching the wall so and where the joists land is below I've actually the damp proof course is here in this brick so obviously the water which comes up and hits the damp proof it stays there and it's been soaking in to everything um, this corner was particularly damp so what I've done is I've cleaned it all out, chopped out this area, um, and I'm putting on this basically a, a slurry, tanking slurry. I normally use bitumen, but it sort of relies on the condition of the wall to stick to, whereas this is like a mortar with some sort of stuff in it. Um, and when it's water based when the water dries out it just leaves the mortar with the crystalline solution whatever that is um, so that's what I'm up to and then hopefully in the next couple of weeks all of this is coming out and it'll be replaced um, and then hopefully it will last um, until at least until I want to move out downsize in three or five years time so there you go. It's always fun at my place. Thanks for watching. See you later. I've been Springy.